And we're joined on SportsCenter now by Gabby Thomas going back to the 200 meter trials and setting the fastest time in the world this year. Gabby, what kind of statement do you feel like you made on that stage? Gosh, I feel like I've made the statement that I've been working hard these past few years and that I'm ready to go to Paris and compete for a gold medal. I'm ready to represent my country and just show the world what I can do. Yeah, looking back on Tokyo in 2020, you took home a bronze in the 200 and a silver in the 4x1 relay. What goes through your mind when you think about what it will take to take home that gold medal? Well, that was my first Olympics. That was my first time competing at the world stage. So I've really fine-tuned my skills these past couple of years. I have another world championship under my belt. Last year, I finished with a silver medal in the 200 meters and a gold in the 4 by one So I'm hoping to follow that same trajectory and this year go from bronze to silver to gold. Um, it's been a long time. It's been a lot of hard work. I've come back from injuries, setbacks, and so I've really grown. I, I feel really ready to accomplish my goals this year. How much more special does some of that adversity that you just talked about make punching your ticket to this Paris Olympics? It makes it so special. Um, it was such a sweet moment. Just thinking back on my entire journey to get here, every woman and every man, you know, in track and field, we've gone through so much and so many blood, sweat and tears to get to this moment, this amazing prideful moment to represent our country. Um, so it, it's just so amazing and such an honor for me um, and I'm really excited because I feel ready I feel healthy and I feel fit uh, so to get to this point is such a blessing okay so you have been able to prepare for all of this while also holding yourself to a really high academic standard so for those who don't know you graduated from Harvard after studying neurobiology and global health then you moved to Austin to train and get your master's in public health at Texas why is that field, as well as the volunteer work that you do at your health clinic, so important to you to do while you're doing everything you're doing with track? Well, it's always been really important to me. Um, I've always pr prioritized academics. Well, when I started my career in track and field, it mainly started just by running at Harvard and doing something that I loved. And so that never, that never really left me. Um, I studied neurobiology at Harvard. I wanted to go to medical school. Uh, when I started running professional track, I wanted to stay in the healthcare space. So I pursued my master's in public health at the University of Texas. And I kind of developed this love for uh, studying health disparities and making a difference in society and giving back to my community in that way. And so I figured, what can I do while I'm training full time for the Olympics, but also giving back to the community in that way? And so I, I found the volunteer healthcare clinic here in Austin, Texas, where I spend a lot of my time. How hard was it to balance all of that going back to Harvard with the rough academics or tough academics, excuse me, to then working towards your master's at Texas? How did you do that? I think it's really about finding time for what you're passionate about and what you love. It's hard to make time for things you don't care about, right? But when you find things that you genuinely enjoy doing and want to spend your time doing, it becomes easy. And I made a decision to commit to these things. So when you make that decision and you work to make that time and to make it happen, um, you find time and you make it happen. But these are things that really fulfill me um, and they just fuel me and make me happier and also provides a balance in my life. It's really easy to get really caught up in track and field at times. And so when I have these moments where I can take time to connect with my patients and know that I'm making a difference, um, it's, it's definitely uplifting and helpful. I love how you've talked about how you've leaned on your mom. I know you're very close with her, Jennifer. What kind of advice does mom give you before running in the Olympic Games? What does she say? My mom always tells me that she's proud of me no matter what. She's always said that as long as I'm doing my best um, and being a good role model, it doesn't matter what the result is. And I know that she's going to be proud no matter what I do because I've worked really hard for this and I do it with integrity and I, I'm making a difference and it, it's bigger than me. And I think she's just so proud of that and that I'm showcasing to the younger generation that you can do this and you can be great as long as you work hard for it. Um, she's been that example for me growing up. She's given me examples of that growing up, watching my idols like Allison Felix run before me. And so if I can even be close to that, she's really proud. Yeah, you just touched on it. Finally, if you could give any advice to the young girls who are out there, they're going to watch you compete at the end of July and they want to be like you when they grow up, what would that advice be? I would say to be yourself and be authentic in yourself find your passion and work hard for it. Just whatever your journey is, that is your journey and that is your path to take, but just 
go all in, work hard and do your best and everything will come together. Gabby, congratulations on everything you've achieved so far. We cannot wait to see you on the stage in Paris coming up in a few weeks. Thank you so much. I can't wait, can't wait to represent Team USA.